name is Kathy, and today we will be starting Lesson 9 from the Teach Yourself to Play the Folk Harp book by Sylvia Woods. In my video called Before You Begin, I go over a lot of details concerning practicing and issues that you may be facing with regards to learning the folk harp. Please review this video to answer many of your questions. This music course continues to pick, pick up even more speed with this lesson and you will find that you need to spend more time with this lesson. This is perfectly normal. However, one of the goals you probably have for yourself with regards to the harp is the concept of being able to just sit down with your harp and playing lots of different music for yourself and others enjoyment. So we will continue on with the modified sight reading as explained in the last few lessons plus something new. So, with this lesson, go back to the pieces from lesson 3 to 8 and play them just once before you begin the material in lesson 9. Do this with each practice session. Just play the pieces from lesson 3 to 8 once before you begin the work of lesson 9. To start this lesson, go over all the exercises from lessons 1 to 8 before beginning the exercises for Lesson 9. In Lesson 9 we are now introducing the three note chord. When playing the harp, when you encounter chords of three or more notes, they are usually played broken. This means that rather than play all the notes together at the same time, you instead break the chord, playing the notes in rapid succession from the lowest note to the highest note. Do this very quickly. This is what gives the chords their characteristic harp-like sound. Chords are always broken from the bottom to the top, that is, from the lowest note to the highest note. In exercise 9a on page 53 of your book, we explore three note chords in their root position. Play this exercise first with the right hand as shown, and then an octave lower with the left hand. On exercise 9b on page 53 of your book, we explore three note chords in the first inversion position. Play this exercise first with the right hand as shown and then an octave lower with the left hand. In exercise 9c at the top of page 54 of your book, we explore three note chords in their second inversion position. Play this exercise first with the right hand as shown and then an octave lower with the left hand. In this lesson, we are introducing, we are introduced to the fermata. This means to pause in German or Italian. What you do is to hold the note a little bit longer than usual or pause on it before continuing. If you are counting the beats in the measure, stop counting at the fermata and pause before you continue on in your count. Our first piece is called Lullaby, and it's from Wales, and it's on page 40, 54 of your book. In this piece, the melody begins in the left hand and then continues with the right. Also notice that both hands are written in the treble clef. When learning this piece of music, clap and count out the right and left hands, and then play the piece hands separately and then hands together. You may find it challenging to pay, play the three note chords of this piece quickly in a broken format. It takes a while to get the hang of this and to play the chords rapidly with control. Just play the chords slowly in a broken fashion and remain confident that you will get this because you will. Remember that the learning curve in music does not ascend slowly. What happens is that you remain at a certain level of proficiency, then all of a sudden you are instantly much better. In other words, you make steps up in your progress. So hang in there with this. Our next piece of music is called Johnny is Gone for a Soldier on page 55 of your book. In this piece, the melody or tune is played with the left hand. Once again, you would clap and count out the right hand and left hand and then play the pieces hands separately and then hands together. 
This piece also makes extensive use of the broken three note chords. Go slowly until you get this and be patient with yourself. The next piece for this lesson is on page 56 of your book and is called Flow Gently Sweet Afrin. It's a lovely piece by Alexander Hume of Scotland. The words to this piece of music were written by Robert Burns. This tune can also be called Away in a Manger. In this piece of music you would find you find the fermata that we spoke of earlier or the pause indicator on the last line of music in both the right and left hands. Once again you would clap and count out the right and left hands and then play the piece hands separately and then hands together. This piece also makes extensive use of the broken three note chords. Go slowly until you get this and be patient with yourself. And our final piece of music for this lesson is the theme from the New World Symphony by Anton Dvorak on page 57 of your book. This is a beautiful and famous piece of music that makes extensive use of the broken three note chord. Clap and count out the right and left hands and then play the piece hands separately then hands together. This piece also makes extensive use of the broken three note chords. Once again, go slowly until you get this and be patient with yourself. Now to continue on with our modified sight reading, we will begin to introduce music from Sylvia Wood's 52 Scottish Songs for All Harps. In this book, each piece of music is arranged for both beginner harp and advanced harp levels. For our purpose, we will begin to learn uh, some of the pieces of music from the easier arrangements of this book to serve as easier and quick to master pieces of music that can be placed into our modified sight reading program. How we do this is that you would practice all of lesson 9 normally. If this lesson takes you more than two weeks to master, then we would introduce a new piece from the 52 Scottish Songs for All Harps book at the beginning of your third week with this lesson. If it takes you longer than this to master this lesson, then keep adding one new piece each week from the new book. Learn these new pieces of music just as we would your normal lesson music. Clap and count them out and then learn them hands separately, then put them hands together. I will be making teaching videos on all of this music in the new book and you can refer to those uh, videos for teaching assistance on each of the pieces. If you need to supplement the, the last lesson with this supplemental material, then continue on down the list from the new book. Now this is the order of pieces to learn. Number one, Old Lang Syne. The easy arrangement on page 6 of your book. Number 2, Balu Ballerie. The easy arrangement on ten, page 10 of your book. Number 3, Bra Bra Lads. The easy arrangement on page 24 of your book. Number 4, Corn Rigs or Bonnie. The easy arrangement on page 32 of your book. Number 5, Dumbarton's Drums. The Easy Arrangement on page 34 of your book. 6. Highland Laddie. The Easy Arrangement on page 46 of your book. Number 7. Al A Kai In By Yon Town. The Easy Arrangement on page 52 of your book. Number 8. The Keel Row. The Easy Arrangement on page 58 of your book. Number 9. Kelvin Grove, the easy arrangement on page 60 of your book. Number 10, Lassie with the lint white locks, the easy arrangement on page 64 of your book. Number 11, The Lee Brig, the easy arrangement on page 66 of your book. Number 12, My Nanny O, the easy arrangement on page 84 of your book. Number 13, A Rosebud by My Early Walk, the easy arrangement on page 90 of your book. Number 14, Scotland the Brave, 
the easy arrangement on page 94 of your book. Number 15, the white cock cockade, the easy arrangement on page 102 of your book. Number 16, will ye o come back again? The easy arrangement on page 104 of your book. Now, if you would like, if, if you could also supplement the lessons with, with some Christmas carols from the book, 50 Christmas Carols for All Harps by Sylvia Woods. This is another wonderful book by Sylvia Woods and uses the same format of the easy version and the more advanced version. Now, in this book, the easier version is indicated with a large A at the beginning of the piece. If you choose to supplement the lessons from this book, then this is the list to use. Number one, Away in a Manger, the easy version on page eight of your book. Number two, Christ was born on Christmas Day, the easy version on page 19 of your book. Number three, The First Noel, the easy version on page 24 of your book. Number four, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, the easy version on page 36 of your book. Number five, The Holly and the Ivy, the easy version on page 40 of your book. Number six, I Saw Three Ships, the easy version on page 42 of your book. Number seven, Shepherds Hurried to Bethlehem, the easy version on page 73 of your book. Number eight, Silent Night, the easy version on page 74 of your book. Or you can use combinations from both books. When you reach 20 pieces in your modified sight reading program, then split the list in half and play the first half of your pieces, uh, piece number 1 through 10, one day, and then the second half of your pieces, number 11 to 20, the next day, and repeat. Now, as an example, if you practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, then you would play the first half of your modified sight reading program on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then you'd play the second half of your modified sight reading program on Tuesday and Thursday. And then alternate the next week. So, to recap this lesson, first play through all the pieces from lesson 3 to 8 once. Then practice all the exercises from lesson 1 through 8 before learning the new exercise from lesson 9. Practice all the pieces from Lesson 9, clap and count out the right and left hand, then play the pieces hands separately, and then hands together. If you're still working on this lesson by Week 3, then start to learn the next piece from the secondary book entitled 52 Scottish Songs for All Harps by Sylvia Woods, or pieces from the 50 Christmas Carols for All Harps book by Sylvia Woods. These new pieces should be quickly learned and then they are incorporated into your modified sight reading section of your practice time. As discussed in last week's lesson, in order to advance as quickly as possible, it's important to have some really difficult for you to master music and some easier to master music. It is important to have the two levels of difficulty incorporated into your regular practice schedules. Hello, this is Lesson 9, Exercise 9A. Great! And you would play that as written in the right hand and then an octave lower in the left hand. Hello, this is exercise 9B. Excellent! And you'd play that as written in the right hand and then an octave lower in the left hand. And this is exercise 9C.
Excellent! And you'd play this with the right hand as written and then an octave lower in the left hand. E4. Excellent. And this is our next piece called Johnny Has Gone for a Soldier. Excellent! And this is our next piece called Flows Gently, Sweet Afrin. Excellent. This is our last piece uh, called the theme from the New World Symphony. Excellent. Now to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Okay, take care.